Okay, so remember how I told you I read the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Apocrypha, which are the hidden books of the Bible, and go over what I find in them? Have you guys ever heard of the angels, the biblically accurate angels and the fallen angels that are in these books? And remember, I told you fallen angels, they fell to earth, corrupted mankind, they gave men things like war, they gave jewelry to women, makeup to women, they fornicated with different animals and fish, creating sirens, cyclopses, and these half horse half human creatures they were abominations but we never really talked about the different types of angels that fell from heaven what they look like and what they may have created and these angels show up in the apocrypha or the hidden books of the bible and i believe this is why another reason why they were taken out of the bible so yes there are different types of angels and they even look different because they have different responsibilities or even they're closer to god or they are over certain things that just make them look different in the bible the old testament is really good at describing what these angels look like and they're actually some scary angels like all angels are not beautiful remember how i told you that fallen angels study humans like right now in today's day and age they study humans so they can become them and look just like them it makes sense that it's because they don't look human like at all and want to blend in and you know participate in the fundamental actions of mankind the reason they corrupted mankind i'm going to start with the first angel that i feel walks among us but we can't tell who they are because they have learned and incorporated itself into being this human-like entity there is this angel that sticks out to me a lot it's kind of creepy but it's called the seraphim angel they are also known as the fiery ones and it is plural of the word seraph they are mentioned in the bible as having multiple faces hands and feet and also six wings and eyes seraphim has six wings and each one of their wings serves a completely different purpose one set is used to cover their face denoting reference and all and acts of protection from the radiance of god's glory another set of wings is used for flying to aid in their swift servitude and the third set is used to cover the seraphim's feet so they can humbly conceal their unworthiness they have the appearance of burning flames and their name literally means to burn with fire god created these angels to be sinless angels but they are not equal to god the fact that they must cover their faces to protect themselves from blinding light of god's presence even though they are sinless in nature says a lot what if the reason they have to hide their face is because there is something up under those wings and the reason they hide their feet I think that this is why fallen angels have to observe humans and do what they do to humans. I'm gonna do a part two because this has already gotten too long, but please, I'm gonna keep going. Thanks for listening.